Here we have a heat map, also known as a tree map. We're using the same data set that we used in building a dashboard and also in using visual discovery, roughly 10,000 rows of customer data. The difference is here we're looking at it in a very different way. We're grouping the customers within states and regions to get an understanding of performance at an aggregate level. A heat map does three things. It sizes things based on a dimension, in this case, the sum of the revenue of the customers in the states and regions. Second, it colors the regions by a second dimension, in this case, average margin. And in a heat map, green is good or high, and red is bad or low. And third, it groups things into a hierarchy, in this case, region and states. So let's look at it. Up here we have the Midwest. It's comprised of about eight or 10 states. What jumps out is Illinois is big and red. That means it has a lot of revenue, um, but, but low gross margin. And there's a gross margin scale down at the bottom. So the low end of the spectrum of all of these states is 8%. The high is almost 11.6%. Uh, so Illinois has a total of $23 million of revenue and an 8% gross margin. That's a problem. Let's drill in on it. So we select it with a mouse. In the charts on the right, the report formats will show quickly that there's 515 customers in Illinois, and there are the statistics. The heat map is linked to the other charts and the other pages. So let's go back to the best customers page and see if we can see what's going on. Well, clearly, the customers in Illinois are uh, typically low revenue and low margin accounts. That's bad. We can see over here in the industry chart, the utilities industry is, is almost all colored. So in the brush up sets, 85% of utilities is in Illinois. So I have a problem with utilities in Illinois. Looks like another uh, industry in here is information technology is 25% of the, uh, that sector is in Illinois. So that's another issue. Let's look at did these customers reply to my campaign. So I go to another page of the dashboard, campaign results. I see in the pie chart, the green is the selected state, Illinois. They all did not reply to the campaign. There's no green in the yes wedge. So I had a problem. These customers did not reply to my campaign. The bottom in gray is all of my customers. The green are the selected customers of the state of Illinois. Again, on the bottom, I see most of these customers are small customers uh, by employee size. So now I see I have a problem. In Illinois, I have predominance of utilities, low margin accounts, small accounts not replying to my campaign problem. Let's go back and look at another state on the heat map. Bring everything back. Florida in the south is another big state that's also red. So let's take a look at Florida and see what it looks like. Does it look like Illinois? Select it with the mouse, 714 customers, 35 million in revenue. Let's see where the customers are. Similar pattern, more of a revenue spread, but all low margin, but different industries skewed towards finance and insurance. And it makes up 26% of the overall finance insurance industry and also lodging and recreation. Let's look at campaign results. The Florida customers also did not reply to the campaign. Nobody replied to the campaign. But if I look at the size distribution, the Florida customers are a little bit bigger. So I have a slightly different issue in Florida than in Illinois, but both of these require corrective action. That's the concept of a heat map. I quickly can look at customers grouped into different areas and get a feel for what's going on. Overall, if I took Illinois out, my Midwest doesn't look so bad, but Illinois is a problem. Let's see how we set up a heat map. I'm going to get rid of it for a second on this page. So I click the little X, it goes away. Go to my toolbar at the top, selection of charts. I open the heat map chart, little wrench to configure it. Two tables in this database, customers and US outline. The data is in the customer base. The field is the top level. The top level of the hierarchy is region. The detail field in this case was state. This is just data straight in from the data table. I'm going to size them by the sum of any of the metrics here, but I'm going to make it be the sum of the revenue of all of the customers in the states and the regions colored by the average margin percent of the states in the regions. And I have my heat map back. Now again, the layout needs to be rearranged. I'll drag the uh, report over to the right, this one, uh, this one over here as well, and slide this over a little bit to give the heat map a little more room, and I'm back to the beginning. So in summary, a heat map is a great way to take detailed data, see it in an aggregate view, get a feel for an overall portfolio, but be able to quickly then drill into individual members to understand what's going on. Thank you very much.